Hey everyone! So Golem has just released its beta 2, which is the second major release since the initial mainnet launch with the beta 1 in March. And with this release, I'm super excited to be uh, sharing some of the things that we've been working on since then, which in particular the uh, service API aimed at making the building of service oriented applications a bit more straightforward for a developer. With this uh, video walkthrough, I'm going to start off at handbook.golem.network and I will dive into the uh, requested development primer. Following that, you need to make sure that you've met the prerequisites. So I've already met these prerequisites and I have uh, the correct Python and Git installed. And from there, we will go into the section of running the Yagna daemon. So to start out with, you need to run the installation curl command, which will ask you to accept the terms and conditions. I've already read the terms and conditions, so I will type accept, and this will install the daemon for us. And we can check that this is the correct version. 0 0.7.0 is the beta two, and we can also check beta uh, GFTP, which we need to run Yagna. And from there, we will run the Yagna daemon with the Yagna service run command. Now that's started and running, I can actually create a new tab and let that keep running in the background. So now we need to create an app key. So we, to do that, we will do Yagna app key create requester. And requester is just, just a name. So you can name it anything and it could be requester1 press the two, you can have multiple app keys, but I will just use the uh, demonstration commands and I will be given an app key that I need later on. And you can bring this back up at any point in time by doing Yagna app key list. And we can see it there. It's a little bit squished just because I'm doing split screen. Following that, we need to get some testnet tokens to run our first task. So we will do Yagna payment fund which will get some uh, testing tokens from CK Sync on testnet from our faucet. So we can see here that we've received our funds and we can confirm this. We should have 100 testnet GLM. And then we just need to initialize as a requester with the Yagna init uh, payment init sender command. And following that, I will run through the first uh, Blender basic example where we will set up a we'll create a virtual environment and then we will activate the environment. We will install our dependencies. And we also need to clone your puppy, the your puppy directory and check out the correct branch, which will be B0.6. So we move into the Copy directory, check out the branch, and here as well you will need the app key that we created earlier on. So I will grab that from here. And now we are actually ready to run our first Blender example. So I will just uh, change into the examples folder and run Blender. So now what it's doing is it's communicating with the test network and uh, getting proposals from the providers on the network. And uh, these providers will actually compute the Blender example task for us. And our results, which we can see coming through here, will actually look similar to this image. We are going to get six images in total for the example. And they will output in the same directory. So we can see some of our outputs in our directory here. So now that we've done that, I'm actually going to uh, go back into the examples and we have a services example that we can run. So simple services. So now I will do the same. So I'll do Python and I will run my simple service. So this is uh, to make it a bit easier for developers to uh, run different uh, applications on the network and to make it or to have more tools. So a developer uh, in the 
Golem Factory uh, project put it very well, where you can, uh, for example, you can use a fork to eat your food, and you can also use a, uh, a spoon. So these uh, kind of two tools have the same result. You still eat your food, but you have different ways of eating that food. So here it is doing a different sort of example for us and collecting uh, the results. And we can run multiple tasks in a row to the same provider that way and have a service that runs over time. Compared to with the tasks, we would send out the task to the providers and they will compute and give us the result. Here we can do multiple tasks with the same uh, kind of negotiation. So you can save some time and run services that way. And I'll let this run. Great, so now our instance has finished running. With this example, we only ran one instance, but uh, it is customizable, so you can run multiple simultaneously. Uh, with this example, we created some basic graphs as outputs that you can see here. And I recommend for you to definitely dive into our new and updated documentation, which dives a lot into these different uh, topics on services and the, here we go, the service uh, model development. And you can have also the simple services section, which will explain a lot of uh, what just occurred in uh, this example that I ran for you guys. It will take a lot to go into it just in this video, but I'm super excited to have shared this, uh, this release with you and for you to try it out. So if you have any questions about this video, uh, please join the Golem Discord, which is at chat.golem.network, and we will be happy to help you and support you with the services API. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.